So here enter SAP BT PTP cockpit login and go to the cockpit.hanatrial.ondemand.com. Click on SAP BTP cockpit. Sign in again. Here first time we have to give the email ID, uh, sorry, mobile number. Select the checkbox and click on save and continue. We'll go to uh, we'll get a verification code on the enter mobile number. And we have to enter that verification code here and then click on continue. In case if you are not getting the code via SMS, click on request a new code. So here now I will enter my verification code and click on continue. While number only first time we have to register, next time we have to enter only ID and password. So here you have to select the region. Now we can see that Europe is not available now. So either we can go with AWS US or Azure Singapore. So I will select the first one here, US East, and click on create account. This will take some time as for system will activate the global account, then sub account, then org, and then space. This may take around two to five minutes for activation of all the sub accounts. So wait till system configure all the sub accounts and org. Now you can see the global account is configured and now system is processing the sub account configuration. Now sub account is also configured as trial and now system is preparing the org. Now all details are also configured the last step is space dev. Now all activation is done. You will now set up your account. This process can take some time. Okay. Now after that, just click on continue. Now after logging to BTB trial account, which in next step will set up that same business application studio. Before that, just go to your trial account. So after going to trial account, you can see all the details. Close this. And here you can see our trial account. For business application studio and like connecting this with the on-premises as well HANA system, we required a sub account to be entered in the cloud connector. So to make a note of sub account, here go to trial account to see all the details of trial account. So here you can see all the details of our trial account, like subdomain, tenant ID, sub account. At the bottom, you can see the endpoint. So all trial account details you can see here. Okay. So and then what we'll do, we'll make a connection between the PAS, that is Business Application Studio, on BTP account with the on-premises S4 HANA system. So for that. We will require this sub account ID after installation of cloud connector. Now we have configured the same BTP trial account. So just log out and log in again to see the details. So I will sign out, sign out here and let's log in again just to cross check whether the account which we have configured is working or not. So here we can see we are able to log in. This means that our BTP account is configured successfully. Okay, now click on SAP BTP cockpit. And what we'll do here, click on SAP Business Application Studio. 
So now we are activating SC Business Application Studio so that we can develop some theory applications. Select the checkbox, click on OK. Now here we have to create a dev space. Click on create dev space. Give some name here. Let's say Fiori. And here you can see different options like say Fiori, full stack application, full stack cloud application. So first we'll activate only Fiori. We can also add required additional SAP extension based on requirement. So initially we'll just go ahead by selecting only this radio button and giving a dev space as Fiori. Create dev space. You can see the status is starting. This will take some time. As once it is configured, the status will become running in the green color. And once we log out, again, the status may be stopped. So at that time, once we log in, then we have to click on one icon here to start again. So first time, this will take some time. Now I can see here the status as running. And make a note of this statement. You are using a trial version. Any dev space that hasn't been running for 30 days will be deleted. This means that we have to use this account once in 30 days. As a BTB copy trial account is provided for 365 days. So in that period, even if you are not using this dev space for 30 days, system will delete this dev space. And again, we have to create a new one. So just go to this is application studio by clicking on that dev space as Fiori. So here we can see a same business application studio is getting open. Your development environment is about to open. This means that like we don't have to install any business application studio or web ID on our local, local machine. Once we configure the SBTP account, that is business technology platform as it is the platform. So we can perform all the required activity without doing any installation on our local machine by going directly to the BTP account. So here we can see the BAS business application studio is successfully configured. And after making all the required setup, we can again come here and start creating of the application. Now, next step is first we learn how to install SAP Cloud Connector. SAP Cloud Connector we require to make a connection between on-premises S4 HANA system and SAP BTP cockpit trial account. So next step we learn installation of SAP Cloud Connector.